Welcome to Spirit Week of Spring 2021. We are all here to tell you about this year's Spirit Week. This year we have a many new things to cover, as well as a review of the old, so stick around to hear all about it. As usual, students will need to be in their homeroom on time and in their spirit gear in order to be counted for Spirit Week days. In addition, students who are fully remote will also have to be on time and in their homeroom Google Meet dressed in their spirit gear in order to be counted. Overall scoring this year will work as it normally does. The grade that is in first place for each day will receive four points, second place will receive three points, third place will receive two points, and the grade who comes in last will receive one point. The all sports competition will have points received for each event, and those will be added to each grade score. A grade can score up to 22 points during this competition. The number of points received for the diaper and food drive will be doubled, with first place getting eight points, second getting six points, etc. And the grade with the highest percentage of students actively participating in their lip dub or music video this year will receive an extra two points added to their overall score. Our first day of Spirit Week is Pajama Day, so at least you won't have to worry about dragging yourself out of bed on a Monday morning and having to get ready for school. On this day, students must be wearing pajamas. Students are encouraged to wear slippers, robes, pajamas, and footy pajamas. It should be noted, though, that sweatpants will not be accepted. Nightcaps are allowed, but just not during class and boxes and other undergarments cannot be worn. On Tuesday, we will be having Character Day, and we're sorry to say, but this will be taking the place of Twin Day this year due to COVID-19 restrictions. On this day, students may dress up as any character from a movie, TV show, or a celebrity, as long as it's school appropriate. Students may want to bring in a picture of the character to show their homeroom teacher in order to make sure that they are counted. This event will be scored slightly different than other events. If the class advisors dress up, four additional points will be awarded to their class. The person with the best costume will also receive an extra 15 points for their class, and the runner-up will receive an extra 10 points. Wednesday will be color day. This day will run as it normally would. Students must be wearing both of their grades colors on the majority of their clothing in order to be counted for that day. This year, the freshmen's colors are green and pink, the sophomores' colors are blue and black, the juniors' colors are yellow and orange, and the seniors' colors are purple and red. Thursday will be Throwback Thursday. Students may wear apparel that clearly shows a throwback theme to get points. Students must be wearing clothes that signal what decade or throwback theme that they're going for. Friday will be the last day of Spirit Week, and per usual, the last day is always Green and Gold Day. Students will be counted if they are clearly displaying both green and gold colors. The colors may be shown on your clothing, in your hair, on jewelry, but face paint is not allowed. The food drive will begin before Spirit Week on April 5th. The food drive will be scored based on the total weight of each grade's items. One single item cannot make up more than 25% of the total weight of the food collected. Individual packages of rice, flour, and sugar may not weigh more than five pounds, and potatoes will not be accepted. On Monday the 12th, an independent agency will weigh the food that has been collected and report on how the race is going so far. But the final weighing will not take place until 7.30 a.m. on Friday, April 16th. Scoring for this event is doubled. The diaper drive will start on April 5th before Spirit Week starts. Points will be based on points per diaper to ensure that the size and price of each diaper will even out. Diapers that are loose and adult diapers will not be accepted. The diaper drive will end at 8 a.m. on April 16th. The points of this event will be doubled. The gym events will take place outside this year. Students may participate in up to two gym events. Students will show up at the date and time specified to compete in their events. There will be no crowds or spectators this year. Students should plan on coming to their events and then leaving right after competing. All events will be filmed so that the school can watch it all together later in the week. The events will start with the obstacle course. There will be one boy and one girl from each grade. This will be followed by the relay race, which must have four boys and four girls from each grade. Next will be the class officer charades, which will have each grade's four class officers competing. Then the all sports competition will occur, which will have three boys and three girls from each grade. Finally will be the dress up dress down competition with five boys and five girls competing from each grade with, for a total of 10 participants. This year's lip dub theme is early 2000s. Along with a song between 2000 and 2010, your music video must also include a reference to an early 2000s movie, silly bands, a crown, toilet paper, and your class advisors must dress up as Britney Spears.
Please keep in mind that all music videos must be turned in by 8 on Tuesday, April 13th. This is before Spirit Week is over, so get filming. In order to film, your grade may reserve a camera from Mr. Morrison on the days that they would like to film their video. Students are also reminded that when filming, they must follow all mask and social distancing guidelines and may not have any references to alcohol, drugs, or any other illegal activity in their videos. As a reminder, social distancing and mask guidelines must be followed during all events. Have fun and stay safe!